Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction. I am here with a great example of Edgefield District South Carolina stoneware that we will be offering in our July 20th, 2019 stoneware and redware auction. So decorated Edgefield South Carolina, Edgefield District South Carolina stoneware is really some of the most beautiful examples of American stoneware in existence. There's times and places where stoneware innovations occurred which created just a whole new thing of beautiful high quality American stoneware. You know I'm thinking about you know, like 1790 Manhattan, like 1820 Baltimore, 1840 Rochester, New York, also 1840 Edgefield District, South Carolina is a period where decorated alkaline glazed stoneware became a thing and it really is a, is a beautiful thing at that. So the Edgefield School of Stoneware Production, you know, beginning late 18 teens was, you know, just plain alkaline glazed stoneware. Forms often are, are like this form, kind of mimicking uh, what was being made in Baltimore, Maryland at the time. You know, these uh, really uh, simple handles, rolled collar, bulbous form just plain jars for local production. By around 1840, with new advances in transportation, particularly the railroad, which gave access uh, of large markets like Charleston, South Carolina, Savannah, Georgia, to uh, the potters in Edgefield District, all of a sudden uh, there was need to make a higher quality pottery to sell and compete with what was being shipped down the uh, Atlantic coast from places like Baltimore. So you know, Thomas Chandler gets a, a ton of credit for bringing decoration to alkaline glaze stoneware. And he brought a, a slip trailing, which was being done in Baltimore where he had trained uh, a generation earlier. But for alkaline glaze stoneware, it is, uh, you know, there, is a, there are examples of cobalt over alkaline glaze, but that doesn't really stand out. What really does stand out is either iron which is the dark color, or kaolin, which is this clay and the light color. Two color slip is what really is the most beautiful uh, decorated alkaline glaze. This is very clearly the work of the shop of Colin Rhodes along Shaw's Creek in the Edgefield district. It's the same tulip on either side, and it's just extremely well executed. It's very rare to find new discoveries of this decorated Edgefield District stoneware. This was actually recently discovered right in South Carolina uh, from, you know, the person didn't know <laughs> what they had. And it's just amazing that great stuff is still coming out. It's just a beautiful jar, perfect in execution, great example of what you want for decorated Edgefield District stoneware. We're thrilled to offer it in our July 20th Stoneware and Redware auction.